And there they go. Welcome back to RacingNews.com. I'm Magic, and today we're taking a closer look at the feature race at Gulfstream Park on Saturday, February 5th. Race 11, that's the Grade 3 Holy Bull Stakes, a Kentucky Derby prep race worth 10 points to the winner. Four to second, two to third, one to fourth. And with me to preview this race is Jared Welch. Jared, I haven't been covering horse racing that long, only about five, six years. But, boy, this is probably my favorite Holy Bull field ever. You've got plenty of great horses in here. Mo Donegal, uh, Simplification, who've won major stakes races. You've got Galt, who's a full brother to Songbird. If she was in this race, she'd probably be one to nine. She's not, so I know you're not going to use her or probably her brother. Where are you going on top? Yeah, the Holy Bull is always you know, one of my favorite kind of preps early in the season every year because – it is a kick, kick, you know, it's kind of the, the kickoff point for these, uh, this Gulfstream Park uh, Kentucky Derby kind of series. And so you start to see who, who we have to work with. And you definitely get a more competitive field, I feel like, in these early races because you still don't know quite, quite know who, who they are yet. You know, you have a lot of horses like you have Mo Donegal, obviously, who's coming in off a win, Simplification, Giant Game, who's a horse that's got the, the pedigree, has got the kind of the back class, not necessarily one. But he had, did run in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile third, a uh, good third that day. Uh, White Barrio ran in the Jockey Club last. Tis the Bomb, the turf horse who, whatever you want to say, may, did he win? Did he not win? I don't know. He didn't win. He didn't come close to winning. But if you if you cash a ticket, he won, right? Uh, Tis the Bomb in the Breeders' Cup turf, a Juvenile turf that day. So you kind of have the makings of all these different horses that could very possibly be serious contenders as we move forward. So... Out of these ones, uh, where do you want to go on top? Because Simplification wins the Mucho Macho Man. He's got plenty of now two wins over this track. Uh, Mo Donegal is bringing all that form from Aqueduct uh, with the Remsen Stakes. Uh, plenty of options, buddy. Where are you going? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I think you can take an angle and you, you can feel okay about it. I mean, Mo Donegal makes a ton of sense. The numbers are there. I think that horse is probably going to be bet too hard. I ended up going with uh, the horse that last time, the four, the, the last time out winner, Simplification for Sano and Castellano back aboard. Listen, I mean, he was, you know, not necessarily, I mean, he's 4 1 that day. He wasn't the, the favorite in the Mucho Macho Man. And this horse went to the front and never looked back. This horse has got some serious speed. And, and the thing about it is, you look at the, the race prior, he was awful. The race before that, and when he broke his maiden, very, very good. So he's kind of gotten this back and forth. That's the only concern I have here. But I do think they found something with this get him to the front, let the horse run. So as as this kind of the speed of speed, I like him at four to one versus playing a lower price on say Mo Donegal or you know Giant Game who's sitting there at seven to two. And it's kind of funny, right, that you can get a price like that on a horse that's literally just proved himself over this track last time out. Yeah. And breeding wise, Jared, it says that he should handle stretching out to two turns because we're going to mount a sixteenth here. But also with Gulfstream, when it's a mount a sixteenth race, yes, they go two turns, but they finish at the sixteenth pole. And so having that early speed, like what Simplification has, is still really crucial in this spot. A horse who really hasn't shown a lot of early speed, unless you count the one time he faced off turf horses in a dirt race. As tis the bomb uh, is exiting the Breeze Cup Juvenile Turf. You mentioned he won or he didn't uh, based on your theories of that race, but uh, he is going to try turf or sorry dirt again in this spot. You're getting five to one, so if you wanted to take a shot, at least you're getting a nice price here. Do you want to use him at all, or do you want to use someone else in your exotics? No, listen. I mean, he, he he's got the class. You know, if he, you know his last two turf races, obviously. Um, but to me, he's I, you, I'm playing against. I just don't see how he makes a lot of sense in terms of value, especially now if he floats up to eight to one or something, then maybe, but I just don't like the angle when the horse debuts on dirt wins by 14 when the brakes is maiden and the horse goes to turf. I, did, I don't, that, that, that angle to me doesn't make any sense. Um, and then it's like, Oh, well it's derby time. So no, we'll pull back to dirt. I never liked that angle. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But to me, this horse has bust written all over him. So uh, if we want to try and pair underneath here, you are using a horse that's you know going to be not the favorite here. Uh, do you want to use Giant Game? He's, he's seven to two. He's the second choice, but it's one of those cases right where it's it's Dale Roman's horse. He's got a lot of talent. You got to like him, but you kind of just scratch your head and, and go Dale Roman's at a short price. Is this the rare time you really want to do it? Listen, I I really wanted to pick Giant Game uh, as my winner here because yeah, there's a lot to like and. I basically have a, a, an unwritten rule code that I live by that you can't pick <laughs> Dale Romans uh, at a short price like ever. Um, and, and seven to two is way too short for him. Uh, he, you know, he, 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 he loses the, his maiden 
wins the next time out, looks really good, goes straight to the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, is a big price of 22 to 1 that day. And finishes a good third behind Corniche and Papa Cap. Of course, we had you know the scratch of Jack Christopher that day. We still don't know what that was because you know Papa Cap didn't come back to win. We haven't seen Corniche. Giant game has a he's got the breeding, he's got gets really size aboard. There's a lot to like here. I just have a feeling like maybe he's an underneath play. Like he comes running late and he's going to be that horse. that's like, Oh, you know, they go longer. This horse is going to be really good. And you know, it's like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to use again. I'm going to play against. I'm actually going to get the horse to the inside of that horse. Uh, why the barrio, I think is the horse that I think makes a lot of sense at six to one. You know, you look back at the Kentucky jockey club and this horse just was begging for room. Now I'm not going to say this horse would have won that day, but smile happy looked really good in the jockey club. But this horse was begging for room. It was behind that wall of horses. Finally got run, and it was able to kind of run up, pick off some horses, and get third. So I think this horse, without that kind of little bit of a trouble trip, is going to be forwardly placed kind of behind the location. I think this horse makes a lot of sense if the horse gets brave or, you know, finishes second and, you know, cashes, you know, helps you cash a ticket with Giant Game or Modonigal off your ticket if you like simplification as well. Jared Welch playing against the short price horses in the Holy Bull Stakes, which kicks off the officially kicks off the Kentucky Derby uh, Trail down at Gulfstream Park. Head over to racenews.com. We've got free picks for every race, every track around the country. Go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash racing dudes. Full coverage of the Kentucky Derby and the Kentucky Oaks Trails. Uh, we also have racingdudes.com slash sports. If you want to bet on sports as well, basketball season, March Madness, Papa Dude is ready to go. So go to racingdudes.com slash sports. Get those free picks right now. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends. Tell us in the comments below who you like in this race we'll see you at the track and there they go